Good morning everybody and welcome to our full course on Apache Hoodie for beginners. This is part number 5 of the video. In this video, we are going to discuss and talk about operation types in Apache Hoodie, which are uh, upsert, insert, bulk insert, delete, bootstrap, insert overwrite, uh, then we have insert overwrite table and then we have delete partition. So let's talk about these in detail. You can watch all the previous part on this particular playlist where the first part was an introduction. The second part covers, uh, you know, Apache hoodie stories from Uber innovative to open source. The, 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 the second part after that is about table types in Apache hoodie. The third part covers the query type in Apache hoodie and the fourth part covers index type. Now this would be part number five. So let's start discussing about the first method in Apache hoodie, which is absurd. Upsert, as the name suggests, is a combination of update and insert. Anytime you perform upsert, if particular records do not exist in your data lake, it will be inserted. If they already exist in your data lake, it's going to perform an update operation. So the significance of upsert becomes apparent in use cases like database change capture. In such scenarios, the input often contains both updates and the new records. Uh, the beauty of absurd is that it ensures your target table never shows duplicate maintaining data integrity. Now, the next operation type that I would like to discuss is the delete operation. Now, let's say in scenarios where you're audited, right? Uh, you have to delete certain records, right? In these scenarios, delete operation type can be used. Now, Apache Hoodie offers a two sort of deletes, which is soft deletes and hard deletes. Now, what is soft delete? In soft delete, you retain the, uh, the record key, meaning your primary key is still there. All the other columns, you're simply going to null it out. In case of hard delete, you're going to remove the data from the data lake. So the next method that I would like to talk about is insert in Apache Hoodie. Uh, the insert operation is all about adding new data to your Hoodie data set. This is perfect when you have fresh data that needs to be incorporated into your existing data set. It helps you to seamlessly add new records. Uh, now, one thing to remember in this is uh, when you are performing insert, index lookup step is omitted, meaning you can add data into your hoodie data in a much faster way. The next method that, that I want to discuss is insert override in Apache hoodie. Faster batch ETL jobs, if you are recomputing the entire target partition in a batch ETL jobs, the insert override API can be faster than absurd. This is because it allows you to bypass indexing, pre-combining and other repartitioning steps that are required in an in a absurd write path. Insert override APIs are also uh, useful when your data lake is partitioned by let's say a year, a month, a day. And let's say a particular day is corrupted for some reason. You can use the insert override API, read from the raw zone and perform an overwrite on that particular partition. Now, if you want to learn more about insert overwrite, I have a blog which uh, explains everything about insert overwrite with a small example. So now let's talk about the next operation type, which is a delete partition. In addition to deleting individual records, Hoodie supports deleting the entire partition in bulk uh, using, the op uh, using this operation. Deleting specific partition can be powerful tool when you need to clean up and manage your data at a broader level. So anytime, let's say you want to clean some older partition or for some reason uh, you want to delete them due to like governance, you can use the delete partition API and delete the entire partition in one go. Now let's talk about bulk insert in detail. This operation is ideal when you want, when you have massive batch of new data that you want to add into your hoodie data set all at once. Uh, it is highly efficient for handling large amount of data. So I'm talking data in order of, of like terabytes and petabytes. And if you want to move all the all those data into your hoodie in, in one go, go for bulk, bulk insert. Now, let me talk a little bit about bulk insert in detail. Now, I have a PDF uh, on bulk insert uh, sort modes with Apache hoodie, which uh, talks uh, about bulk insert in detail. Bulk insert offers five sort of modes, right? None, global sort, partition sort, partition path repartitioning, partition path repartitioning and sort. Now, 
In a blog post by AWS, which is Get Started with Apache Hodi Using AWS Glue by Implementing Key Design Concept Part 1. This benchmarking was done on October 17, 2022. Uh, and again, they have taken different, uh, you know, uh, sort modes and they essentially compared uh, the insert time, the query performance uh, and the upsert slash delete. Uh, again, I'll leave this uh, uh, PDF for you in the description section below. So in case if you want to go deep, you can go ahead and read the PDF. If you want to learn more about bulk insert, I would definitely recommend an article by Mr. Siva Balanarayan uh, titled Bulk Insert Short Modes in Apache Hoodie on Medium. So the next operation type I would want to cover is bootstrapping in Apache Hoodie. Uh, bootstrapping is a, uh, a way to import data into, into, into Hoodie. So for companies who already have existing parquet files, right, it is very easy to uh, you know, bring those data files into a hoodie format. Now there are two ways, either you can uh, read all the parquet files and then write them into hoodie, which in which case, um, if you have large number of data or parquet files, which could be expensive, what you can also do is hoodie offers you metadata only, meaning during the bootstrapping action, hoodie will use your existing parquet base file and it will only build the metadata layer on the top of that. Uh, thank you so much. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I will leave all the resources and reading materials for you in the description section below. So that way, if you want to dive deeper into a particular topic, you can refer the resources uh, given in the uh, resource section below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any further question on this particular topic, please do not hesitate to post them in the comment window and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. With that being said, I'm going to be seeing you in the part six.